Gig Log, September 21st, 2013. We are at Tall Tree Arbor Arboretum. Tall Tree Arboretum. And I am now pulling in through a gate, trying to get the trailer back here. We have a very different type of setup today. We have a stage for the DJ. We have a dance floor, which is completely separate, but kind of in the same location. And then we also have, we also have, um, we also have a ceremony that we have to set up. So we'll, we'll you're going to see some weird stuff today. Something, it's going to be a little bit different setup. Okay. Now I have to back this thing in, so I'll see you later. All right, so here is what we're working with right now. Um, if you can see behind me at the DJ setup, but we are like on this big wood stage over here. Okay. And then we also have the dance floor over here. So the plan is around the stage, we're going to, we're going to mount some pars around the stage. On each pole here and then I'm gonna do two over there and shoot them out and then there's some truss running across the top I put the two bars up there um, DMX runs up the back pole behind the DJ over this and then two pars are up there we're gonna put the lasers probably off the speakers like we usually do and light this tarp up on the top and then we're also going to use the uh, the LED panels to just give us some light behind us because it's gonna be pretty dark up here other than having the two bars, but we're gonna mainly try and hit this because they're talking this is going to also be dance floor area. Um, so it's gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna run just a total of six pars. I think it's gonna be enough with the two panels behind us and then the lasers. So it's gonna be pretty dark up here, but it's gonna be kind of disco-y with the lasers on this black top. So it's gonna be really, they're gonna really stand out. I think that'll be cool. And then the two bars will light up this floor without a problem. And then we'll do the four pars around there. They're going to have some other lights inside the tent too. So I needed to be able to have control over all the colors and I'd be able to shut them off when I needed to. Um, so I think this is going to look a lot like our barn wedding that we did uh, in, in July. Having lights around the dance floor. It's going to be pretty sweet. Well, I will show you what it looks like when it gets dark. Uh, we also have a ceremony we have to set up and I think they're gonna put a generator out in the woods and We're gonna have to do some stuff So I'll actually get some footage of that once we get over there and then I'll show you what this looks like later tonight Okay, so lights are done at least for the most part. I've got them right behind me Corners They're all hitting the dance floor pretty good. I might have to readjust them as it gets a little darker um, So this is what we got here Stage. I think it's gonna work out all right. These are also DMXed in with the with the mega bars across the top, and then again we'll have lasers and some up lights in the corners probably to light up the to light up this little back woods kind of area. So that's about it. Uh, we have to pack up and then it's time to start getting gear out to where the ceremony is. And we have a three-person golf cart that we have to then try and get everything onto and out to the place. So, uh, wish us luck. Okay, so we are up and rolling, running some dinner music right now. And uh, I want to show you what it looks like now that it is getting dark outside. This is, this is our stage area DJ booth kind of set up. We've got lasers on the ceiling which are kind of hitting out in the trees too which looks cool. And we got just a couple of uh, the bars up there hitting the stage area with some up lighting behind us as well as then lighting the, dan the actual dance floor in here with the pars across the top and believe it or not there's like a 20 degree difference from inside the tent to outside the tent but i think the dance floor is lit pretty well we've got some pretty good coverage we'll see what happens 
when it actually uh, when we actually start getting some people moving. All right, so here's our finished look. We ended up throwing a couple of bars on the floor just because it's so dark out here. We got a little purple and blue mix going right now. Purple backdrop plus the lasers on the top. And then the dance floor right here. Well lit with the same color, color uh, scheme right now. Purple and blue. We ended up having to help out the catering company and throw a little light over there for the bar and a light for the food prep area. So that was uh, interesting. But uh, we are rolling. We're about to do our first dance and uh, get the night going. It's 8 o'clock, so we still have about four hours to go. And then we got uh, DJ Brian right there. Hey DJ Brain. We're going to call him DJ Brain from now on. Thank you. 